stop it. Stop it. Do you have no shame? You know what time it is. Sam, roast me five. Before I get started though, keep in mind that everybody in this video has given me their express consent to end their careers. And all of the advice given to these people can also be applied to your work as well. It's a roast video, but it's really meant to help you guys. Beautiful stylization, great shape language in the character, nice painterly looking background. Well done. I mean, is this going to be a good video? Am I actually going to enjoy this one? Oh my. Yeah, I, 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 I just want to have a good time doing this, but y'all don't make it easy for me. What in the world? What? This is really cute. But what is that thing? Somebody tell me, what is that? What is he about to kiss? What beautiful rendering. And this is exactly how I feel when I'm going through your guys' work. So you know what's bugging me here? Uh, I feel like she's missing the other eye. Uh, if I were you, I'd just add the hint of that top eyelid with some eyelashes to the other side of the face so that it doesn't look like the other side is just uh, completely skin. It's a little disturbing, you know? Okay, listen. I'm assuming you did the character, okay? The character, the rendering, that looks pretty good. But that background, that's my art you know there's no english but i don't think you've given me credit in the in the caption or the comments so um i'm just saying if you don't want to end up like this guy right here uh you now listen every single video i talk about stylization and how sometimes you can go overboard with the eyes being a little bit too big and it seems like you guys are just trying to one-up each other at this point because that is massive the eyes are taking up like more than 80 percent of her face but I mean, this is why we can't have nice things. furry -osity. All right, listen here. Oh my goodness. You know, she's probably angry because she's trying to tan at the beach, but you didn't give her a light source. Now listen, if the character is outside during daytime, I can see blue skies all around. So that would mean the sunlight is shining down onto the character and sunlight creates very sharp transitions between light and shadow a lot of contrast and you're going to get some very sharp cast shadows on the character as well as on the ground and a lot of contrast between the light and the dark no one is there for me but myself you okay man um what in the world is she holding listen i've seen many cats throughout my career and i wait i just read the caption that's that's your cat i'm so sorry you got to see that every day Listen, that is a beautiful rendition of a White Walker from Game of Thrones. Well done. Okay, beautiful rendering. I love your fish. This is fantastic. But I just, just feel like the eyes on that character, like I understand, you know, that you guys want to stylize, you want to make the eyes really big, but they're almost touching. It's a little too close. Listen, guys, pets are not for eating unless it's a hamster. Look, I know exactly what's going on here. You accidentally selected the skin layer with the rectangular selection tool and you shifted it over just a little bit and you didn't notice it before you posted it onto Instagram. That's okay, we all make mistakes. This is from June 3rd, 2020. It's only been about a year, so you still have some time to fix your mistakes. Just promptly archive this post, uh, move the eyes back into position and repost it again. And I'm sure it'll do just fine. Look, your rendering is great. This. There are some things that, you know, are, are better just kept to yourself or better kept to like DeviantArt or something. Sam gets canceled by DeviantArt community. Okay, I love the colors here. I love the background. Uh, it looks really good. Again, this is a case of an art style that doesn't need a whole lot of contrast, but still works really well. Good job. Listen. 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 So I think the tongue is looking a little bit jarring because you've added this very deep cut in the middle i know what you're doing there is a line in the middle of most people's tongues but it's not that deep of a cut so now it looks like the flesh is like wrapping around that center point and she looks like she's got this crazy powerful muscular tongue i would just try to soften that up you forgot to sign it and you hope no one would be dumb enough to steal it yeah i don't think anybody's gonna steal this i'm sorry listen you set me up you set me up but one piece of advice that i can give you is uh like, unless you're trying to make the guy look super creepy on purpose, try not to put so much detail into each individual tooth because that creates this very jarring look. You could just wash it out with a white, it's still gonna read as teeth. But I don't know what kind of fantasy you got going on here and I kind of don't really wanna know. So um, next, that is a face not even a dog mother could love. I mean, look, this is probably why Instagram hates artists. I, 
Look, I like the rendering, I like the anime style, I like the colors here, but he looks like he's about to stick those two fingers right up his throat to throw up whatever he just ate. This is probably more of a compositional thing, you know, I would probably go for something that could show a little bit more of the hand so you can see that he's doing like a cool anime hand gesture and not just trying to bite Samwise. What a beautiful man. Uh, you're doing a value study, which I think it looks great. You've got great detail in here, great textures on his clothing, even the hair that looks fantastic. But one thing that I think is jumping out at me is the tone of Sam's skin. So I believe he is of a lighter complexion in the movies, but since there are no colors here, I'm just going off of values alone. And just looking at the values, he looks like he just went on a couple weeks of vacation before deciding to go to Mordor. He's looking very tan. Easy fix though, you know, select this area of the face and just play around with brightness slash contrast. I think you should be okay. Um, to capture the feeling of summer. I don't know about you, but summer doesn't really bring me pain. I think what's making it look like a painful expression is the furrowing of the eyebrows. You know, if I cover up the eyebrows, the expression starts to read a little bit more as happiness, but with the eyebrows in there, she looks like she is going through immense pain or like con consta constipation. Okay, so this is a wonderful use of complementary colors. I love the orange and the bright yellow contrasted with a super vibrant teal background. Good job. You know, if you're gonna color that apple so nicely, you might as well color the rest of the face. Come on. Don't run from your responsibilities. Once again, this is why we can't have nice things. That's, that's enough. Okay, aside from this strange miniature alien baby that he is holding, I think the rendering in this piece looks really, really good actually. But one thing I want you to keep in mind for the future is uh, to remember to leave in some hard edges. So for example, like maybe areas on the nose ridge, you could easily sharpen up that edge on the eyes too. It'll just make your overall painting look a little bit more detailed, a little bit sharper. Okay, and it'll bring more focus to your focal points. And the baby here, you could just crop that out, remove it. That's me after making one of these videos. This is a really good uh, perspective drawing. Good job. Okay, I actually really like the colors in this piece. They blend together really nicely. There's a good balance of warm and cools. A lot of harmony here. And this is once again, an, an example of a piece that doesn't need a whole lot of contrast to actually come together and work really well. It's all about the style here, you know? Okay, guys, listen, here's the thing. I see a lot of people who uh, go after one single artist's style and they try to do everything in that style. And in your case, you know, you've done a really good job at replicating, uh, whoops, style. But the problem is when I see something like this, I think of the artist who actually uh, is best known for that specific style. So if I were you, I, I would try to put your own artistic spin on it. You know, maybe it's the subject, maybe it's the colors, maybe you, it's the way you do lighting, proportions, and make it a little bit more your own. But there's nothing wrong with studying other artists' styles. It's just that you didn't mention that this is a study of group, and I immediately recognized it as so beautiful line work here. This looks like traditional, but I think you need a couple lessons on anatomy here because that's usually not how the face is built. I'm just joking, but if you can't tell that I'm joking, like I don't... He looks dejected. He looks sad. I mean, I'd be sad too if I had to wear something like that. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Do you have no shame? Okay, I've seen one too many. Just for the record, guys, do not put fall on nudity into one of my hashtags because I will not show your work if there is nudity. That's just gonna get you shadow banned, you know, just go to DeviantArt or something. Okay, so here, the one thing that's really jumping out at me is that I, because the face is sitting on a front facing plane, and then when you turn to the side, your eyes are gonna be facing forward on that front facing plane. So you're gonna see less of that eye. So you got the right idea of not showing that inner corner of the eye, but I would bring that outer corner of the eye in significantly more along with the eyebrow. Hmm. Look, I'll believe it when I see some process. Yeah, this is. Uh, these were my drawings from high school and you did a good job recreating them. Uh, look at the comments. I wish you did that for Sam Rose Me 5. Well, you did and now you're on YouTube. Congratulations. Guys, draw your faces. Do not let me see you run away from your responsibilities again. I think the skin rendering here looks fantastic. You've got really, really nice highlights. You've got that soft transitional texture between the different tones in the skin. 
there's honestly not much I, I could say about it, but I think I'd like to see where the forehead connects to the hair a little bit because it looks like the face kind of just fades into darkness and then the hair just fades into existence. I don't really see a connection between the two. I would like to see a little bit of that. Other than that, good job. What in the world? I have no caption for this. Well, you, you should explain what's going on here. I swear every single post that I see has these comments on them still. Guys, watch my last video if you wanna know a way to deal with these comments. I love the vibe and the colors in this piece, but I think you could probably make the head a little bit bigger, um, just because, you know, in comparison to the size of the body, the arms, um, the torso, and the legs, it seems like that skull is a little bit small, you know? Just a little bit small. What, do you mind explaining what's happening here? I see what you're trying to do. You know, you're trying to stylize your characters, but once again, to uh, retain a little bit more expressiveness in the facial expressions of your character, uh, I would try to move the eyes just a little bit further apart on the inner corners. And I would also bring this mouth up a little bit because usually if you look at a person's picture, a person in real life, the bottom of the nose to the top of the lip, that distance is much smaller than the distance from the bottom of the lip to the bottom of the chin bring that up and then bring the chin up along with it and then after that i think you're going to get something that looks a little bit more proportional this is like when you draw one eye and it looks really good so you don't really want to draw the next eye and potentially ruin the face so you just give her one eye instead <laughs> that is an expressive okay i think this is a good place to call it a day this is extremely disturbing i hope you are not proud of yourself for doing this and publishing it uh but you know with that being said i'm going to uh, like and save for research purposes later but for the record guys do not post explicit nudity on these hashtags because i don't want to get this event banned we want to be able to keep doing nice things for everybody okay stop it that's it for the fifth episode of me roasting you guys very gently. Now, if you didn't see your work here, don't worry. We're gonna do more of these in the future. I got 3,800 entries, which is a lot to go through, okay? So I'm not gonna get through everybody. Just stay tuned on my Instagram stories. That's where I announce them. And I like to just drop these on you guys really fast without any warning. So um, keeps you guys on your toes. But with that being said, I hope the advice that I gave to some of these artists are also useful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more content just like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next video.